things I shouldn't know. Good morning, Stephanie Cameron, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisper of the Day for Tuesday, October 5th. Guess what? The spy is a pain in the neck, isn't it? It's just stuck on the neck. Yeah, didn't want to let go. Where is it going to go? Well, we're going to be bullish above 432. Let me make this bigger so you guys can see what I'm looking at today. Let me zoom in here. This is our trade setup. We map this out in boot camp. Yep, 432 from the 4 to the 8 to the upside. That's that first trade setup. And you can see we've tagged the 8 like almost every day. All right, so we'll see if we tag it again. Or if we move down below 429, bearish below. Let's head on over to the Russell. I don't like the Russell where it's at. It needs to break out above these moving averages. We have pivots to the downside. It could be a little rocky. Bullish above 222.53. Bear below 220.50. Let's head on over to the QQQs. And we're going to be bullish above 355. That's a retracement trade to the 4 EMA. And we're going to be bare below 353 for the move down to these two moving averages, the 161 EMA and the 150 simple moving average. Let's head on over to the future. All right, E mini's up first, bull above 4315, bare below 4285. The NASDAQ futures bullish above 14.625 and bear below 14.475. What's interesting is the NASDAQ futures already touched down with those two moving averages that I just showed you on the Qs. Yeah, they, the NASDAQ hit them. The Qs did not yet. So we'll see where that goes. But oil is the hot commodity. Loving the oil trade. We had a massive print on XLE yesterday. Oh my gosh, are they buying and we're going to move much higher or are they selling? Well, the oil futures, we're going to be bullish above 78.20. We've already gone up and hit lots of targets. Um, I would say the next level 79. Yeah, to uh, to hop on. All right. Uh, bear below 76.75. Gold futures. We're going to be bullish above 17.68.50. And bear below 1754. We'll see if it can hold this S1 level. And of course, Bitcoin futures. Super hot. We got Taz coming in today into the boot camp class from Crypto Tunities to teach us about crypto. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, today bullish above 51,000 on Bitcoin futures and bear below 49,500. I figured if we go below these pivots, then we could have a bit of a move or if we go above 51, that's a big level. So we'll see where that goes. Let's go to the individual stocks. Let's go to Apple. Lots of volume today. It uh, tried to hammer the 120 simple moving average. All right, we'll see if it can hold that. It's a really big level. Bear below 138. Uh, bull above 140.26. Let's head on over to GLD. Yep, so is it going to roll over once again? And I was sharing this earlier in class, right? It's been doing this. And that would be the next move <laughs> if we follow that pattern. Um, it really retraced to the 4 and the 8. Let's see where it wants to go. We're going to be bullish above 165.20. Bear below 163.50. Let's head on over to XLE. That's where the big dark pool came in yesterday. And it's flying high. So this is what I wanted to show you on the weekly chart. I've been trading this one in particular all the way to the upside. We're finally about to tag that 200. We talked about this yesterday. Are we going to go to the top of this channel at 60? If they're buying, yes. If not, we'll go to the bottom of this channel. So that is what I am looking at with those big, massive 4 million prints yesterday. 
at 55.10. So bullish above 55.50, bear below 54.40. NEO is up next. Bullish above 34 for a retrace to the 4 EMA and bear below 33.50 for a bigger move down perhaps. All right, Facebook got walloped yesterday. Where is it going today? Well, it kind of stopped at that that same combo, right? The 161, 150. See these two moving averages? This keeps popping up all day today, right? These two. 161, that's for commodities, EMA, and the 150 simple. Yeah, they just seem to be on every chart today. Um... We're going to be bullish above 332.50 for a retracement and 327 for bear below. Let's head on over to ExxonMobil because that could be really hot today. It's got lots of volume. Bullish above 62.50, bear below 61.40. Bank of America, strong bank yesterday. Did have some selling at the end of the day, but throughout the day I, I saw it was uh, strong in comparison to the other bank stocks. Today will be bullish above 44, bear below 42, 79. Let's head on over to Ford, which had that massive 14 million print at 14.19. Went up yesterday and up thrusted quite a bit. Is it going to stay above 14.19? Like draw a line in the sand, all right? Bullish above, bearish below in the biggest picture, but will be bear below 14. There was quite a few obstacles in the way today for the day trade bull above 1451 Mara could move with crypto and uh, mapped out this trade bull above 3520 all right like this move here and bear below 33 this is our no trade zone in the middle all right there you have it those are your whispers for Tuesday October 5th until next time happy trading everybody My secret